Hello everyone, my name is Sesam and uh, today we are going to calculate the weight and balance. Thank you so much for your comments and I heard today that you have liked some of our previous videos and they were they have been useful for you. So I'm glad to hear that and I hope uh, we going to be as practical and and standard for today's purpose too. So we are going to calculate the weight and balance for a flight with a Cessna 172 our basic empty weight is uh, 1420.08 pounds uh, the basic empty weight means that uh, the airplane uh, itself without any passengers any occupants any luggage no fuel just the instruments installed on the aircraft and it, uh, the body the fuselage and uh, the whole compartments of the aircraft itself and uh, the maximum takeoff weight is 200 uh, 2,300 pounds so we may make sure we don't exceed that weight uh, while we are taking off and the amount of uh, load that we can carry with us it's 879.92 pounds so this is including people passengers uh, cargo and also the fuel so th the amount of total of uh, uh, th the weight that we can carry with this plane is 879 pounds and 92 decimal so uh, the moment for this weight is here and then uh, we have the useful load uh, for fuel it's 40 gallons so that's the maximum capacity of our tanks we're flying with four people pilots 160 co-pilot 200 pounds our rear passenger first one is 150 and the second one 170 and we have to uh, find out how much fuel do we w do we need in order to uh, do this flight and uh, we're going to be cruising at 6500 with 65% uh, of our cruise power uh, so we did the calculations already we uh, we find our takeoff uh, distance we find our time fuel and this dis uh, distance to climb and we also uh, we have to know that this flight is at night and we are uh, we have been told to carry 45 minutes of reserve fuel in order to be legal at night if it was in the morning we had to carry 30 minutes of reserve fuel and for the uh, sake of this practice this uh, winds aloft tells us that below 9000 feet uh, winds are calm and everything is clear so uh, what is good about it uh, is that we can use our true airspeed as our ground speed because there is no wind involved if there, if there was wind involved you, uh, you would need to calculate the wind correction and also uh, the wind drift uh, and find your ground speed based on your uh, wind action so today we are just doing the weight and balance information and we have previously calculated the takeoff distance and landing distance so if you have any question about these two number two and four please watch our previous videos it might be helpful so let's start together by punching in information that we already have we know that uh, the basic empty weight of the aircraft is 1420.08 and we also know that the moment of that weight is 54445.2 and also we need to add to uh, pilot and co-pilot in the front so there are six, 360 and also we know that in the back we have uh, two people so we add them up together in the next column right here and the next is uh, the baggage so we have 30 pounds of baggage right there and also we know that uh, if we add all these items together we're gonna find our uh, zero fuel weight zero fuel weight means all the weight that we, we, we're gonna carry on this flight without calculation of the fuel so we're gonna add them together all these numbers together is some of this and now we can find the arms of uh, those weights so basically we can have to uh, like uh, we have two methods I'm gonna show one method in this video so we're gonna go uh, to our POH right here it's a uh, section of your POH I just brought it here so we are interested in these values so the pilot and the passenger in the front we, uh, the arm is 37 
and the uh, arm for the rear passengers is 73 and the first baggage area is 95 so we're going to copy these numbers into our workstation and while we are here let's go over this one too and we need this this picture and it uh, it's from straight from the section 6 of your POH and your Cessna POH uh, I'm pretty sure uh, most of you guys you have those uh, papers with you so you can refer them if you want so 46 is the arm of the fuel tanks so we our fuel tanks are right here and the arm is 46 for them so we go back here to copy those numbers here so basically 37 for pilot and a co-pilot 73 for the rear passengers and 95 for the baggage area and also we figured out that uh, our fuel arm fuel tanks arm are 40 is 46 very good now that we did that we can multiple these numbers and get the moment we know that weight times arm gives us moment so we have the weight we have the arm we can do the moment right now so the moment for that is 13 uh, 320 also the moment for passengers on the in the back is 3 uh, 2 3 360 also if we multiply these two numbers we get 2850 so we have that and if we add all these moments together we get this number right here the to the total uh, zero moment so 93 it's the sum of that 93975.2 just double check 93975.2 perfect so not now that we get that we we're gonna stop here and we're gonna figure out how much fuel actually do what do we need to carry with us not to use but uh, actually to carry with us in order to be legal so we have to carry 45 minutes uh, extra fuel uh, so let's see how much fuel do we need for for it for the fly itself and then we, we add 45 minutes on top of that so the basic formula for finding fuel we are interested in finding fuel but first we need to know our time we don't know how much time it takes so we have to find time first then we can find uh, how much fuel do we need so for for time uh, you, you can use this formula it's always on top of your e6b uh, you can refer that whenever you want to and also we need we need to know our three item uh, two items and we find the third item which is time right here uh, based on these two so we know that our air speed is 110 we, we mentioned before that why it's 110 because we calculated our true air speed based on our chart right here and it gave us uh, 110 knots as a as a cruise so 110 is comes comes from here and also we know that we burn 6.9 gallons per hour that's the fuel flow so let's go back to here and find out the time we know that the distance between S John Wayne and Santa Barbara is 108.2 however this is the distance that we travel on the ground so if we are going to climb and then level off at 6500 then come back here we are actually interested in finding this distance because if this is on 8.2 minus 13.2 nautical miles we're gonna find 95 nautical miles how we find that we know that uh, we have to calculate our takeoff and uh, takeoff distance so we, we go to this chart again I show you quickly so you remember this chart we, we calculated it before so uh, after calculation we, we knew that 11 minute it takes us from takeoff to, ele uh, to level off at 6500 and we use 3.2 gallons of fuel for takeoff taxi and run up plus the uh, conversion factors and uh, then the distance it's 13.2 so let's go here and we find out that we, we take 108 we take 13.2 of it out so we have 95 nautical miles to go so now that we uh, find our distance in the outer we match it 
uh, we, we point the arrow of the E6P to 110. On the outer ring, we read 95, and the inner ring, it gives us 52. So 52 is the time from here in this magenta line, actually, so to here. So that's 52. So now we can find fuel. So if we punch, again, we, we, need, we need to use this formula from right off uh, from your E6P. You have this formula printed for you. So if you remember, it's better. If you don't, it's always there. So set your gallon per hour. Read uh, on the outer uh, ring, you read the total gallon uh, fuel use. And the inner rotating uh, circle, you find the time. So we already know that. Uh, the total gallon of fuel that we're going to uh, take with us, it's in order to be legal for the night. So we know that 52 minutes is from this magenta line, from cruise to land, and we need to add 45 minutes extra fuel to that. So we so 45 minutes added to that, it's, it's going to be 97. So we are going to calculate how much fuel we need for 97 minutes, actually. And why? Because uh, again, it's in the uh, first uh, explanation of the uh, question. It, it uh, asked us to calculate 45 minutes of reserve fuel. So we know that uh, our burn rate is 6.9. So we point our uh, pointer on E6P to 6.9. And on the outer surface, uh, we're going to find the total gallon. So we know that at the time is 97. So on inner, we put 97. We match it with that, we read across in the outer, we find that it's 11.32. So 11.32, it's the total gallon to be legal. However, the total fuel on board is the cruise, which is the smagenta line, plus this takeoff and climb, right? So we have to add them together. So cruise, we know that 11.32, it's from here to here. And then we need to add 3.2 gallons because of takeoff, run up, and uh, taxi, right? So we add them together, and we finally know that we have to carry 14 pounds of fuel, 14.52 uh, gallons of fuel in order to be legal. So what is the weight of that fuel? If we multiple that by 6, it will give us the weight of that fuel. So it's 87.12 pounds. Very good. So now that we know that, we can go here and uh, do the rest of the calculations. So we go back to our ch chart right here. So we found our usable fuel, the, the fuel that we need to carry on board in order to be safe and legal is 87.12. So we get that number based on that. Very good. And we if we, ta if we multiple so let's let's do it right there. Okay. So now that we find this, we can multiple these two numbers together and find our moment right here. So the moments for fuel, it's going to be 4,007.52. Very good. Sorry about that. I'm going to put it right here. Very good. And then also, we are interested in finding our takeoff weight. So if we add these two numbers together, this is the fuel weight, this is our weight. All, all, all of us, like the baggage, the luggage, fuel, uh, like uh, pilots and everything, plus the fuel, it gives us the takeoff fuel. So at the takeoff time, we're going to be 2,217.2 pounds. So we simply added it these two numbers together, this number and this number, and some of that comes here, and then we can find our takeoff moment. So how we can find a takeoff moment? Uh, so we go to here, and we uh, find from here. So the takeoff moment is going to be the the takeoff moment is going to be the add of these two moments. So from here, we have to add 9397.5.2 to 4007. So we add them together, we come to this number 97982.72. That's the sum of these two. So that's our takeoff 
moment. And now we are interested in finding the landing weight. How we can do the landing weight? So it's pretty simple. We have to calculate how much fuel did, did we use for uh, just the cruise part. Remember, we, we, we just used this fuel from here to here and then from cruise part to here. So we, we just add this part to this part, how much we used this uh, this route uh, and this route and how much we did and this route, so we we just find our burn, so uh, the fuel burn. So here, uh, again, we use the same formula. So gallon per hour equals uh, on the outer we are looking for the total, and the inner is time. So we know that 6.9 is the total. It's is the uh, rate of fuel uh, rate of uh, fuel burn. So 6.9 gallons per hour and we we used it for 52 minutes for cruise and on the outer circle of E6P we can find the time. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm, we can find the total. So the total for cruise is 5.98. Remember we have to plus uh, the takeoff and uh, taxi and run up uh, fuel to that, so 3.2 gallons to that for taxi run up and take off, and it gives us 9.1 gallon. This is the total fuel that we burned actually in gallons. So if we multiply that number by 6, it gives us the weight of that fuel. So it's the total fuel burned in pounds. So 55 pounds lighter. We are 55 pounds lighter than whatever we took off. So we took off at about uh, 2,200 pounds, so we are 55 feet lighter than that. Now we can find the landing weight, right? So how we can do that? We know the takeoff weight. If we subtract this total fuel burn from it, it gives us the landing weight. So 2,217.2, which is our takeoff weight, minus this number that we already find right now, it gives us 2,162.12. And this is our take uh, landing weight and it's simply uh, it's uh, lighter than this right because we burn the fuel and where do where do we burn the fuel from the same tank so we use uh, the the same arm for usage of the fuel so how we can do the moment the moment for t uh, landing moment uh, it's going to be uh, the fuel that we used where did we f use that fuel? We, we used it from uh, from the f fuel tank, right? So we know that weight times arm gives us moment. We're interested in finding the landing moment, right? So this is the fuel that we burned. Where where did we get that fuel? We get it from a from a tank. So the tank, the arm for the tank is 46. It doesn't change, right? Uh, we fill it and we use it from the same tank. So if we multiple the weight of the fuel that we burned by the arm that we used from the tank, it gives us to uh, this number. So this is the moment of the fuel that we actually lost, we lose. So this, uh, if we take this moment and we subtract it from the takeoff moment, the moment that we took off, it gives us the landing moment. So we have 9798, 982.72 minus 2533 and 0.68, it gives us 95,449.04. And we, we write these numbers here and we're done. So our f we found that our landing weight, it is 2,162.12. And we found our landing moment is 95449.04 and we can simply bring these numbers to here to find our CG that's uh, so we are done with this page so here I have to uh, bring these numbers and I will show you what I mean by now so that's the total moment for takeoff and that's the total for landing. Very good. So consider CG as your 
arm you remember wait time arm is moment again we have this is the moment this is the weight so we have weight times arm equals moment so if we divide moment by weight it gives us arm so if we divide moment by weight it gives us arm or CG so uh, our CG is the sum is the uh, number that we uh, take this number divided by weight we give uh, we, we find the CG so let's do that together and then if we divide uh, these two numbers we got 44.19 for the takeoff and also we find 44 point fourteen for the landing. It's all it's very good idea to calculate your landing CG because you may uh, uh, you want to always make sure that you are within the envelope. And by envelope uh, what I mean by envelope is this one. So we uh, on the page six twelve of your POH you have uh, figure six point dash eight you have a center of gravity limits. We are interested in two things here. One is matching our airplane CG location in inch so we found it already we found that our CG from here it's 4419 and we are interested in weight 2 so our takeoff weight is 22 17.2 so we come back here and if you look at this chart we are interested in 4419 and uh, 2217 so we go to uh, 44 44 is right here, 45 is here, 44, 19 is right there. And we go up until we hit the uh, the weight. So the weight is uh, 22, 17. So 22 is right there on the bold line, and 22, 17 should be here. So we are actually within the limit. Perfect. So anywhere inside this envelopes you see this bold thick line that it's like an envelope it anywhere if you end up anywhere here inside this envelope you're good if you're outside this envelope anywhere here anywhere here outside uh, you're not uh, allowed for takeoff because uh, you're not within the CG limits and if you're in this dashed uh, part you're in the utility category if you're in here in this envelope, you are in the actual uh, normal category, not normal category. So we found that uh, moment is right there, and actually uh, we can uh, we can find the uh, landing CG two. So 4414, 4414 is right here, and we go until we match 21. 2162 it's right there so again we are in the utility category for the landing and let me do it with another color for the takeoff so we can see where where we went so 4419 4419 is here and uh, also 2217 so 2217 very good and here so you see that uh, CG changed from here to here from this uh, red line to here as we land so it, but it's still we're in the in the envelope so the the next thing we're interested to find out it's the moment envelope as we had uh, the, the CG we have the moment we can do that by moment too to make sure we are in the center of gravity so uh, this this is the moment divided by 1000 why because it says here that uh, you have to uh, take the moments that you find and divide it by 1000 so uh, we we take ni uh, 97,000 divided by 1,000. It's 97.9. So 97.9. It's right here. 95, 96, 97. So 97.5.9. And then uh, again, we are interested in 22, 17. Very good, right there. And then. 2217 is right there finished so we are here inside the envelope anywhere inside this bold uh, boundaries are fine so anywhere outside you're not allowed to take off 
So again, we do for the landing too. So the moment is 95.2. It's almost there. So do it to another another color. So 95 is here, and we come here to 2162. So again, we end up here. So from here to here, landing moment changes. Thank you so much for watching, and that is the end of uh, this video. Please leave us our comments below so we can uh, make better videos for you in the future. Have a good one. Bye.